Hey, pretty fast. 26th of March, 2018. And I wanted to get to this yesterday, but I couldn't. And it's very interesting to say the least. This, this rally that they had, which was not a march. They call it a march. It wasn't a march. But they had to call it a march. Because they needed to have marching in there. Mars. Marching their little troops into their little traps. Because that's what it is. And I recorded this. I just set my uh, my recorder and left it in, on C-SPAN here. And recorded the event. And I ended up getting the majority of it. You know, it messed up a couple times. But the first thing I want to show you is that when they bought the live stream from C-SPAN, you know, you have to buy that from X time to X time on this day, blah, blah, blah. You have to purchase it. They purchased from 12 to 3. That's it. That means that the stream goes from 12 to 3. However, when C-SPAN, when the event was over, and I mean over, it was emptying out. This place was empty, right? And they continued their stream. If you look at it, I'll find the place for you. See right here, it's 321. They've already gone 21 minutes over their stream. Why do you think they went 21 minutes over their stream? And if you want the exactitude of it, it wasn't 21 minutes over, it was 22. So they made sure that they went 3 hours and 22 minutes. There's no way around it. It was intentionally done. But then when they re-rendered it, and posted it for viewing, it only shows 2 hours and 55 minutes. You see what I'm saying? This is what they do. And unfortunately, this whole rally, because that's what it was, it was a concert and a drama class show. And I'll tell you, I believe that many of these kids firmly believe in what they're doing. They have a cause that they believe in. Because that's what people want, is something to believe in, something to have hope for, something that's good. And these kids have no hope, so they choose guns to be their cause. And they're led by a bunch of jackals and demons who portray themselves as their shepherds. will lead you into peace and security, which is a giant, huge, massive lie. There's Miley Cyrus. I just wanted to show you one thing. I'm going to try. I'll link this stream to you, but they leave out a few things. Uh, I noticed in this is only like 12, 13 minutes in. This little blonde girl here does a speech. You really want to watch this because it's really bad. I, I actually was embarrassed for this poor girl. They want to be part of something, but they're they're acting. They're they're not really acting from their hearts you can just see it they're trying to portray themselves as passionate you know it, it just is so sad and this world is just sucking them into the lies right so they bring out this little girl though this little girl is supposedly the uh the daughter uh or granddaughter rather of martin luther king and so little hillary clinton here brings her out and she is a cute thing, right? And she makes this very quick, very brief speech about how it should be a gun-free world. My grandfather had a dream that his four little children will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream that enough is enough. Enough is enough. Okay, so you see how they bring out the cute little girl and then they start to try and harness the emotion of the people. This is, this is how it works. It works on emotion. These kids are clueless. They are being led by a spirit that just drives these men and women believing that they are 
gods that can make everything better. And they'll come and they'll legislate their morality. And then they'll come to take your guns with their guns and dictate their peace to you. I can tell you that 90% of the speakers in here were angry, very angry, very angry. You could see the, the, the legitimacy and the realism of their anger far above and beyond the passion that they were trying to portray towards this cause. It's really sad. I mean, it's, it's a great lesson in psychiatry, psychology, the whole thing. If you watch this, you can just see the deception oozing out of it, right? But this little girl, when I saw her, the strangest thing, it brought to my memory immediately this. You must remember this. Quietly walk out of the dark and strike. You remember her? Well, this little girl, for whatever reason, reminded me of this little girl. And, and there are three other places that I came across so far that, that telegraphed the plan. What this essentially was, was these evil powers and principalities basically prospecting these kids, snaring them in through the lure of we will give you exposure and we'll give you presents and, and raise you up. This is how they do it. They drag you in with the temptation of the world and trap you into these false paradigms because it's a false paradigm. The whole gun argument is just a joke. And I, I just, to the life of me, can't understand how that people are even having the argument. They, they want to take the guns away from the good people so that only the bad people have the guns. And they think they're just going to eliminate all the guns. If we just run around and collect up all the guns, then they'll be gone. And they're delusional. These The people are literally delusional. And I'll tell you what, the main thing that I really got out of this is how they made no qualms with letting the world know that they believe that, that our thoughts and our prayers, our prayers are not enough for them. They want to legislate morality. Think about that. Just think about it. And they are being conned. Conned. These poor kids are confused enough as it is, and now they throw this garbage on top of them. That is about as evil as it gets. But that's what these people do. It's exactly what they do. It's unbelievable. We have one uh, speaker in here actually invoke a Bible verse. Pete, first Peter chapter four. Uh, he, he quotes verse, he says verse nine, but he really, what he, what he quotes is verse eight. Above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover a multitude of sins. That's all he says. I, I actually want you to hear it because it's really telling. I mean, they got these kids just so conned that I, I, I honestly don't know what to say. This guy right here. I mean, he really tried. Here, listen to him for a minute. Okay, all right. Now he's talking. All right, I made some commentary over it. He is now, right here, he's quoting 1 Peter 4, verse 9, he says, but it's actually verse 8. But listen to what he says. The, try and ignore my commentary. Above all, you ain't hearing me. <laughs> Come on, brother, say it. Love each other. Deeply because love covers all wrongdoing. Now hold now I'm gonna make commentary. I don't know what I say, but love color covers all wrongdoing. That's how they quote it. His charity covers a multitude of sins. He quotes it as love will cover all wrongdoing. Well, the version of love they're being given is the words that come out of the mouth. Okay, it's not coming out of the heart because they haven't even 
come to the understanding of what love is. They're godless. They've been pointed into the direction of men who will deceive them. But listen to them just a little more. Now hold on. Says who? And for us, we. Let me hear you say we. Uh-uh. No, let me hear you say Jesus. Jesus. Must not be the change that we see. See? The and it continues on. And he's very angry about peace. He is mad. I want peace. I mean, it's insane, people. But he just completely skips over the very scripture he's reading. Because it says right after that, As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. <laughs> that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Not only was Jesus not mentioned in this rally, or God, they were renouncing prayer and thoughts of prayer, quite literally, and putting their hope and their faith and their trust into the hands of men. And that's what I see. I see a disaster in the making. This was a recruitment. The lambs were recruited. And they're going to prepare them for the battle. And that's all this was, was a recruitment operation. Okay? Craziness. Just craziness. But nonetheless, there it is. I mean, <laughs> you have to watch this to fully grasp the amount of deception that was portrayed here. And pray for these kids. Pray for these people. Because they're lost. They are so lost that it is beyond understanding, man. This crowd was just dead. Dead. No heart whatsoever. Just seeking something to believe in. And being led in every direction except God. <laughs> Pray up, people. Pray for these people because they're going to become the ones that will be coming after you. <laughs> so, just a little commentary on that I wanted to share with you. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 